Yeah, hello everybody. Doing a review of the Fisher Price Good Adventure Shipwrecker sub. It's not Shipwrecked sub, which I thought it was for many, many years. It's Shipwrecker sub. And um, it, it's kind of a weird thing. It's a submarine set. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's part of the Pirate series, but it's weird that they had a sub. But whatever, man whatever so it does come with I uh, technically two guys um, showing this guy first here this is the main guy I mean just your your basic has his, has his hips that can move or his waist that can move and with a little um, heart or poon or spear whatever you want to say a little skull and crossbones there and I think he has a little I don't know if it's showing up but a little heart looking tattoo on his arm he has like a pretty small head because you're supposed to put the barrel on I'm just trying to do this one handed here part of my uh, terrible camera work has a little ponytail but you're supposed to supposed to snap this thing on here and now he's ready for action um, I so I have talked about this in a different video but there's this set the sea serpent set i wish the the sea serpent guy that comes with that set was more like this guy um but anyways so yeah you got this guy here and he's your kind of an adventurer going out in the and the bottom is is shoes are supposed to be made of made of iron to keep them at the surface or not surface sorry that's the exact the exact opposite here <laughs> keep them at the bottom of the ocean and so yeah uh this set does come with two torpedoes they kind of look like that's not focusing on all that well but they kind of look like bullet bills from from super mario but they kind of have these little shark looking faces i'm not sure if that's showing up or if my camera is doing a very, very good job of focusing in then comes this little jail cell cage you know this is supposed to be for a deep diver you know you can keep, you, you can you can put your your guys in here and they can go on down and um and then we'll get to that here in just a second little little octopus squid thing and then of course I see I said it came with a guy or it's technically two because this is technically a guy on this thing you know he he's can't take him out he doesn't you know do anything but, but he is a figure on this so I you, you know I guess uh, however you want to um, rank this thing although it definitely does come with a lot of uh, a whole bunch of little details here you know I, and and this is one of these things they didn't have to put this on here but you got these little these these little fans they're not fans but uh propeller kind of deal you got little engines you got little you know shark things you know, you know obviously this is totally just made up gobbledygook but at the same time like hey i appreciate it that they went out of their way to make up this gobbledygook then of course you have the sub um, so this rope here, mine is broken off many, many times. So you have to forgive me for not really showing off what it does. Heck, I would not be shocked if it broke off again in this video here. But what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to be able to hook this thing onto it, and you're supposed to be able to lower down this guy into the depths of the ocean. But again, yeah, this this thing. I mean, you you might be able to see that it is it is not really held on super well been fixed multiple times what you can do here too is this guy will latch on part of my my camera work here and unfortunately because I'm doing this with the one hand it might be harder for me to get this on but just suffice it to to say this 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 does technically latch on and stays on um, but I do need an extra hand for it just to kind of get an, an extra push and then you can put these, put these bullet bills yeah again I know it's not what their names are but put them in here and you push down on the on the 
telescope here or yeah telescope um, and push them down and I'm only gonna do this once because I know they're gonna fly so you push down on it and trying to get a good angle here and so yeah and they fire out you, you can also open up this main compartment again we got a bunch of like piping and wires see if I can get this in here I'm not having to bump too much there's like controls and various things again a wooden sub yeah definitely probably not gonna work yeah definitely probably not um, but I appreciate the little bit of effort they made for it um, oh this guy the drill that he has it does go in and if you roll him which this isn't really gonna roll but this one here if you roll this one the drill spins to make it you know a well, more drilly drill you got your your different methods here so definitely kind of an interesting set um, I I mean yeah you know sure sure I, I don't have any any issues with it um, so there we go the ship wrecker sub um, it does appear on the 24 piece puzzle it, it might it might show up in one of the coloring books one of those um just add water to your brush coloring books but even that I'm not I'm not sure about um, but yeah I mean way back when I was younger I used to keep things inside of it um, but I don't now so not not much more to say about it besides uh, this is what it comes with these are the cool things it has and thanks a bunch for watching thanks